Hello everyone, today we'll read Walt Disney's Elise in Wonderland, A Little Golden Book. Elise was growing very tired, listening to her sister read. Just as her eyes began to close, she saw a white rabbit hurry by, looking at his pocket watch and talking to himself. Elise thought that was very curious indeed, a talking rabbit with a pocket watch. So she followed him into a rabbit hole beneath a big tree, and down she fell, down to the center of the world, it seemed. Elise landed with a thump. The white rabbit was just disappearing through a door, which was much too small for her. Elise drank from a bottle on the table and shrank away to a very tiny size, but now she could not reach the key to the little door. At last, Elise found a way to get through the little door. Seated on a bottle, she floated into the Wonderland on a mysterious sea. On through Wonderland, Elise went, looking for the white rabbit. She met two jolly fellows, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. They did not know the rabbit, so Elise hurried on. At a neat little house in the woods, at last she met the white rabbit himself. The white rabbit sent Elise into his little house to hunt for his gloves, but instead she found some cookies labeled take one, so she did. The cookies made Elise grow as big as a house. What a dreadful sight! Elise and his, the rabbit and his friend Dodo thought she was a dreadful monster. Elise picked a carrot from the rabbit's garden. Eating it made her small again, so small that she was soon lost in a forest of grass. Elise found herself in a garden of talking live flowers. They were bread and butterflies and rocking horse flies too. Elise thought the garden was a pleasant place, but the flowers thought Elise was just a weed, so they would not let her stay. Next, Elise met a haughty caterpillar blowing smoke rings. He told Elise to eat his mushroom if she wished to change her size. Elise sampled one side and shot up taller than the treetops, frightening the birds. But another bite made Elise just the right size. Now which way shall I go? Elise wondered. The signposts she found along the way were no help. They pointed all over. If I were looking for the ra white rabbit, I would ask the Mad Hatter, said a grinning Chesh Cheshire cat up in a tree. He lives down there. Elise found the Mad Hatter and March Hare celebrating their unbirthdays at a tea party. She joined them for a while. After the nonsensical tea party, Elise wanted to go home, but none of the strange creatures seemed to know the way. Elise wandered into the Queen's Garden. Soon along came the royal procession. And who would be the royal trumpeter but the White Rabbit himself? The Queen of the Hearts asked Elise to play Crockett. But Elise did not like the looks of the game. Off with her head, cried the queen. Away Elise ran with the army of cards gave chase and down all the tangled paths of Wonderland and back to the riverbank. I'm, gla I'm glad to be back where things are really what they seem, said Elise as she woke up from a strange Wonderland dream. Ooh. Okay, thanks for reading Book Time with Mohol. Have a great time. Bye.